Sexual reproduction in plants. In all higher plants, flower is a reproductive organ. An angiospermic flower typically bears four parts or whorls, namely calyx, corolla, androsium, and gynosium. Out of these, calyx and corolla are protective in function and do not participate in the process. Hence, they are called non essential whorls. Androsium and gynosium produce gametes during reproduction. Therefore, they are called essential folds. When all these four parts are present, the flower is said to be complete and bisexual. Calyx is made up of sepals and corolla has petals. Andresium has stamens and a single member of gynesium is called a carpel or a pistil. Each stamen has anthers. Pollen grains are produced inside anthers by meiosis. Each carpel has ovary at the base which has one or many ovules. Inside the ovule, egg cell and two polar nuclei are produced by meiosis. Pollen grains are transferred from one another to stigma during pollination. Pollen grains germinate on stigma to produce pollen tube. This pollen tube carries two male gametes. Pollen tube reaches the embryo sac. One male gamete fuses with the egg cell to form zygote. The second male gamete fuses with the polar nuclei to form the endosperm. As both nuclei are used and the event of fertilization occurs twice, this is called a double fertilization. After fertilization, zygote develops into embryo, ovules develop into seeds and ovary into fruit. Let's revise this process quickly through a simple flowchart. Flowers have andresium, gynesium, stamens, carpels, anthers, meiosis, ovary, Pollen grains, pollination, ovule, meiosis, pollen germination on stigma, polar nuclei, pollen tube, triple fusion, fertilization, one male gamete, second male gamete, endosperm, zygote.